Hi, I'm Romaric, CEO and co-founder of Covery, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy your Strapi application on your AWS account. I'm doing this video and this live demo just because I was a bit concerned by seeing how complex it was from the Strapi documentation to just simply deploy that application. You have to go through all the different details of AWS, like configuring network, VPC, security group, spawning a database, configuring S3, and so on and so forth, just to, at the end, make it run your application that is probably working locally, and then it's complete nightmare going through all those elements just to simply deploy something that is working on your local machine. And uh, the way that I'm going to show you that is with the platform that I've built myself with my team, which is Covery. Covery is a SaaS platform that you can use for free that helps anyone to deploy your application on your AWS account. You can see it as the Heroku-like experience running on your AWS account that is used by thousands of developers to deploy their application. And what I'm going to show you is by being connected to my account is that we are going to deploy that application through a Terraform template that I made. So if you're not familiar with Terraform, Terraform is a, is a way to declare, to uh, explain what you want, what you do expect. And from that, by running the Terraform command with the template associated, then you can get the state and you can get your application up and running by themselves. So with Covery, we have a Terraform provider that you can use and helps you to deploy your application. That's exactly what we are going to go through. Um, so if I share my, uh, my ID, uh, you see that I have this template available here. And basically, if we go through that template, we'll see that I've set up so my AWS account with the credentials, access key ID, secret access key. Then we've declared the cluster where we want to see running our Strapi application. And basically behind the scenes, it's an EKS cluster that we're spawning. So Curry takes care of everything for you. Don't, you don't need to get into the details. So you just declare the resource that you want. So the cluster, um, the region, the type of instance that you want and the number of nodes that you want. So that's something that you can just simply copy paste. Then we create our project, which is a Strapi a V4 project. We declare the environment that we want. So it's a production environment that we want because with Cover you can manage multiple environments. Let's say you have your Strapi application, you want like a development staging production environment. You can just simply copy that and create all of that. And we're going to create our database. So it's a Postgre 1 RDS instance where that is managed by AWS with the backups, point in time recovery, everything. So we don't even need to think about the network and to make the connection with our application. Covery will take care of all of that for you. You just need to say, hey, I want to get a Postgres instance, version 13 with 10 gig of RAM and making it's uh, just privately accessible. You don't want to expose it outside. And then we go through the applications. And deploying an application is a containerized application on Covery. You just simply need to say, hey, I want to, my application is coming from that repository. It could be like a private or public one, no problem. You set the branch that you want, you, we, the root application path, so it's for monorepository application. In that case, it's not needed. And then the Docker file that you want to use, exposing your application because Strapi is running on the port uh, 1337, and declaring the environment variables and also the secrets that we we want to use. And we have what we call a variables a template file, Terraform file, where we, you can put your secrets. Here it's for default and uh, demo purpose, but you have to change it depending of your application. Basically, and that's it. Basically, that's it. So what I'm going to show you is here. Let's go through our console. So if you look at the web interface, we have so into our organization, we have a cluster that is so it's in updating state. So it's not 
myself, but it's in the state and running already. We have the Terra test uh, world, so organization and no project that are running. Okay. So what we are going to do is the first time that you use Terraform, you have to type the command Terraform init through uh, the, the repository and the template where you are. Then it will initialize, initialize the modules that you are using. Here I'm going to do just a Terraform plan because the init was already made. And from that plan, and from that command, so the Terraform plan, I can just run it and then we'll get the changes that are going to be made. Uh, those changes, so if we go through, we'll see that uh, Terraform is going to create so update in place <coughs> and create the applications, the database, the environment, and all those uh, things. So just before that I run that command, um, I just want to make like a small change because for the demo purpose, I don't want to wait like for <laughs> 20 minutes to get it run. So I'm gonna, gonna switch just the manage, conte uh, container, manage database, Postgres database into container one just to accelerate and speed up the deployment. Yes, container database, so it's completely transparent for the applications. Basically, it's a, it's a database that is spun on EKS. Uh, so it's a container one with a block storage that is attached. Okay, so it's not good for obviously production purpose, it's better to use a managed one, but for development it's great. And here for the demo it's better because it's fast, faster to spawn. So let's, let's open the terminal, type terraform plan again. Then from that we see the change that are going to be made to deploy the application and we can just do terraform apply. And then from that we can tap yes, I do want to apply and deploy, create my project environment applications and deploy them. And that's exactly what will happen now. So you see we are, so the project has been created, the environment has been created and now it's the database itself that is going to be deployed. And we can see that by refreshing. So we have our Strapi V4, the production that is in deployment state and then if we look at the deployment logs, we see that everything is going to be created by recovery. So from the VPC, from the VPC load balancer, network security groups, database, uh, applications, then the build of the application also will be made by recovery itself. You can even integrate to your CI if you do want. Anyway, it's out of the box working for you. So we are going to wait a bit and then in just a few minutes, we'll get our application up and running. All right, my application has been deployed, the database as well. If we do look, yes, applications, database, they are all running. We can even get access to the, deep, to the logs of my Strapi application and the Strapi application as well. So I can connect to it, start configuring, putting my first name, Omaric Philogen, Maric at recovery.com. Let's put a fake password. I don't know if it's sorry. I will click fake. Let's put that. Hey, it's not generating. Let's start at least one uppercase. Okay, Strapi. Let's put that. And then we have our application, Strapi application running. It's up and running. We can get access to it. And it's all good. And all of that with Covery Terraform on your AWS account. That's perfect. It's perfect. So I hope you enjoy. Um, you have access to Covery by itself. You have also a free plan. So there is no need to, no credit card. If you want, do want to start deploying your application on AWS Trapi one, then feel free to use. We have even a forum where you can ask your question with a great community if you do need anything. So the, the links are, are just below. You can get access to the links for Terraform template for Strapi, Covery and all those things. And then I hope you enjoy. Feel free to ask your question. Thanks for watching.